Today, we're going to see how much aluminum we can get from this slag. This is a bunch of the leftovers from the other melts that I've done. So we're going to see if it's worth it. I don't know if it is, but you can see that there is some aluminum in there. So we'll put it in the foundry and light it up. My foundry's struggling and needs some repairs. Here's my lid, but it's keeping the heat in. We've melted down quite a bit, but we're going to see if it's worth it. I don't know, a lot of this looks like there isn't much aluminum left in that. It's pretty dry, crumbly. Oh, there's a piece. Maybe we're not getting the heat that we need. That's possible. Put that to the side. But yeah, it's just very crumbly. I don't know if it's worth it to keep going. We'll see. Maybe there's some aluminum at the bottom. Looks like we found some. So, is it worth it? I don't know. We'll see. But right now, it's pretty difficult to get it separated from the slag. It's still soaking it all up. Um, I don't know if it's worth it. I have a bunch of other aluminum that will be much easier to purify and melt. I mean, we did get some aluminum here at the end. It looks like we'll be able to pour that. I might add some of those other scraps in just so that we can do some lost foam casting. Got to make some aluminum balls, metal balls, shiny balls, whatever you want to call them. But we're going to do some lost foam casting with that. So. We have some foam balls, that's what we're gonna cast. But we're gonna glue up our sprue. Just a little bit of super glue on here. Pull it together, and you're good to go. There's our mold. Now we're gonna bury it in some dirt. Um, this can be any dirt. It doesn't really matter that much. I've sifted it so that it's a little bit finer, gets more details. These styrofoam balls aren't the cleanest or the tightest, so we'll see how that turns out, but bury them up, pack it tight, and get ready to pour. Oh! I realized I forgot to put in an air vent. So now as the styrofoam melts, it's gonna blow some bubbles. Hopefully it worked out, but we'll cool it off. There's a hole in my other bucket, so we're just gonna spray it with the hose. Still super hot, but they look like they worked out. Flip it over. Yeah, it worked. So, we'll spray them off, clean it up a little bit, and we'll have to polish them up, sand them down, who knows. But there's the rough look of them. They get really hot when you're sanding them and grinding them down like that, but cool it off. There we go. If you have any ideas on how to keep it a sphere, a ball, let me know. It was kind of tricky, but we're going to sand it out. This kind of helps give it a little bit of a polish. I don't think I'm going to do this for the other two, but we'll see. 
This one looks just like the foam did. It's just aluminum. So it lets you know the detail of the foam pretty well. This one's the polished one. To me, it looks like those old cannons in those castle and pirate ships. Way long time ago, I guess. But turned out kind of neat. Got some nice, well, two shiny balls and one not so shiny.